Too dangerous to drive on a large crack suddenly shuts down a busy downtown bridge. And tonight we learned there was no warning sign to the dangerous problems on the Grand Avenue Bridge. New tonight, 41 Action News reporter Dia Wall questioned MoDOT about what caused the crack. Dia. Yeah, Mike, almost 10,000 cars a day go back and forth across the Grand Boulevard Bridge here. Well, they used to before it was shut down. An inspector had been keeping an eye on this bridge for months when he saw something that MoDOT hasn't seen before. Hey, Brian, uh, you need to get out of here. I think we need to close this bridge. That was May 6th. See the crack on the left um, that's got the black is rebar. It's got a big piece of rebar showing. This crack has been here for months. It's these new, smaller ridges that have MoDOT concerned. And that means all that concrete is moving and broken clear out over live traffic. Worst case, what would have happened is the bottom part of this bridge would have separated from the top and really the kind of the bottom half of that bridge would have fallen down on the 670 traffic below. You can actually see the concrete chunks laying on the road. That's what fell out of the bridge. So they dropped the inside lane and added 10 of these metal studs that hold 30,000 pounds each. But we still want to know what caused the cracks. What mainly caused it is it's an old bridge. It's already performed past its design service life. It's not the only one. There are more than 60 bridges in downtown Kansas City alone. Many of them in rough condition. Actually, this one behind me was not in critical condition uh, until this crack opened up. What's troublesome is this bridge was rated excellent just eight months ago. This is what keeps MoDOT inspectors up at night. Right now, MoDOT is in the emergency design phase to come up with the new Grand Boulevard Bridge. They hope to start construction as early as August and finish it, open it right back up to traffic by December. The price tag for that? Five million bucks. Reporting live downtown, Dia Wall, 41 Action News.